One day, Gordon was very impatient with Percy. He saw Percy napping on a siding and decided to wake him up to rudely to rudely wake him up. The sound of Gordon's whistle made Percy wake up with a jolt. Now you're well. Finally, you're awake," said Gordon in anger. Now run along and fetch my coaches, please," said Gordon, and he chuffed importantly away. Percy wanted to get back at Gordon for waking him up from his nap, but he didn't know how. Percy made his way to the to the coaches in the siding. He coupled up to them and made us and shoved to work to where Gordon was. Hurry up, you," said Gordon impatiently. At least Thomas is a better job than you. Percy was about to say something back, but quickly, but didn't. Then he had an idea. I know. I'll ask Thomas on how to get back at Gordon. My coaches! Yelled Gordon. I'm coming. I'm coming. Groaned Percy. Just then, Gordon Gordon chuffed away, trying to make up for lost time. Even even though there was n he d he wasn't even late, and he and he didn't and he left without saying a thank you to Percy. <sighs> Engine, big engines these days," groaned Percy, and he chuffed to go to go find Thomas. Finally, he found Thomas taking on water. "Hello, Thomas," said Percy. "Hello, Percy," said Thomas. "What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be in the yard?" "Yes," said Percy. But Gordon rudely woke me up from using his from his whistle. And he and he didn't even say thank you when I when I shunted the coaches for him. Jeez, that's rude," said Thomas. "Yeah, and I'm still looking for a way to get back at him, so that's why I came to you." Hmm," said Thomas. "I think I have a plan." "What is it?" said Percy. "You'll see." Later that day, Gordon was. Was looking for Thomas or Percy to shunt to shunt the coaches for him, getting ready, for, getting ready for his next train. But he couldn't find them anywhere. Finally, he found Percy and the coaches. Percy, get my coaches ready for my next train. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna be leaving in in ten minutes. Why don't you get them yourself? Said Percy. I don't have time. I'm gonna be leaving in ten minutes. It's gonna take too long. It's not. It's not my fault that you that you big engines are too spoiled to do what to do little jobs. Gordon wanted to argue, but he knew, but he knew it was almost time to go. So he had no choice but to fetch his own coaches. But but, but he said to Percy, Percy, when I'm done with this, you can't imagine what's gonna happen to you. You can't imagine what's gonna happen to you next. Gordon said in anger and went to get his to get his coaches. Now, Thomas said, "Percy." Thomas quickly pulled the coaches away before Gordon could get them. No! cried Gordon. But there was nothing he could do. Suddenly, he found he couldn't stop. He thought the buffers would stop him, but they didn't. Gordon was close. Gordon closed his eyes, getting ready for the impact. Oh no! He cried. Oh no! And he crashed and came off the rails. Get me back on the rails right now! Thundered Gordon. Shrubham had, of course, found out. Thomas and Percy were in trouble. He told them that they had to stay in the shed for a week. He wasn't just cross with Thomas and Percy. He was also cross with. Gordon. He told him that he needed to learn that he needs. He also told him to learn that he has also has to shun his own coaches, not just the other engines. Yes, sir. Gordon moaned. After the after the incident, Gordon 
Gordon learned that it's not just he, that he himself has to shunt coaches in freight cars, not just his, his friends and the other engines. Wake, wake up, the Green Goblin! Go and fetch my coaches. Or maybe he almost learned.